Was that? You still confused? I am so glad you asked. So, what I have here are basically two of the panels that will form the front and back of this baby carrier. So, yeah, this looks odd, right? No mind. So, that's the way it's going to come together. Yeah, so this is where the baby's bum goes. Uh, and this will come around and I will have straps coming out through here going all the way around and attaching to these straps at the back that's the idea uh, this is the this will be the outer panel so this is made out of cotton duck pretty heavy material the inner the, uh, the inner fabric which will uh, be in contact with the baby is made out of light denim it's strong enough to carry the weight but it's a little more comfortable on the skin and the terracotta uh, panel that you saw would be basically the internal batting material now uh, because i will be sitting these two and i will be sitting them inside out i i have already gone ahead and added some you know bells and whistles onto the outer panel so for example i have a pocket over here uh, I cannot install this once they are stitched together, so I have to do this beforehand. There are a couple of velcros uh, which will basically be the side straps to hold the baby in, and there's also uh, let me hold it this way. Yeah, uh, there's also a velcro at the top for the headband. So headband, uh, the side straps, and pocket. Uh, that's all done. Now, clearly the only thing right now left for me to do, or not the only thing. The, the next thing left for me to do is uh, to hold these uh, like so, so that the, the pocket and all the, the gizmos are inside and then go ahead and stitch these all the way around and then I have to turn this inside out. Now because I have to do that, I will not be completely stitching this all the way through. I will leave gaps, for example at the bottom I will not stitch this so that I have that access to turn it inside out and also I don't intend to stitch these straps uh, all the way to the end. I intend to keep some gaps here because I am afraid I will have difficulty turning it over and maybe, just maybe, I may have to feed a string through it and then pull the string. I'll show you in a little while how I intend to do it. Hopefully I will not need any special techniques to do that. But hey, you never know. So yeah, let's get to stitching. This is going to be fun. So guys, this is actually the webbing or the strapping material which I am stitching. Uh, I'm stitching, I'm folding over the edges so that it doesn't uh, fray out. But one of the problems while trying to stitch this is here, let me show you. Uh, if I try to start it at the edge, because it's so thick, uh, <clears throat> the, the presser foot doesn't lay flat. 
and there's so much uh, this pressure for basically have to ride uh, ride up to this height which it cannot so the way i deal with it is i add a second piece of sacrificial fabric of about the same height like so and then if i engage the presser foot uh, it, it lies flat so it's a lot easier to stitch it this way Oh yes, I do it all the time. Uh, you see, dental floss is it's, it's really strong and cheap and makes an excellent uh, sewing thread if you want to use them. guys finally this project is complete uh, I'll be honest I did do a little bit of the work off camera uh, namely I did add these two uh, fabric stack I'll, I'll show you what they are in a minute let me just first put this on uh, so the way this works is uh, yeah that's it this goes around the back Yeah, so that's how it works. You see the baby's bum that goes here. Uh, it's nicely, the weight is nicely distributed between my shoulders and, and, and the waist, which is a really nice thing about this design. Uh, the one, the work that I was talking about that I did yesterday off camera is actually uh, this strip of fabric along with a, with a velcro over here. And this attaches with a strip of velcro on the front side and this basically keeps this particular shape uh, properly aligned. So uh, the, the one goes here and the, the hands uh, will come up on top and this will basically go uh, below the armpit. Not a problem. Awesome. And the final piece of fabric is, is a a light headband which I have made that goes here yeah so that's the entire contraption which I have come up with I look I, I did the right thing like a normal person would do I, I looked up on Amazon and Flipkart and I, I did get a number of I believe which would be, would be good products my, my issue with them is they are all made out of plastics uh, polypropylene uh, it's, it's filled with some foam some crap which I don't like so I wanted uh, one that's made out entirely of cotton so that uh, explains my selection of material for doing this uh, for example I have canvas uh, cotton duck I have denim which is again cotton and uh, even the internal filling the packing material is also actually terricotton terricotton the towel material yeah so i am super happy with this i am going to give this to my wife to try on and i hope she will like it and that's all the time i have uh, for you guys in this video hopefully you have, uh, you have really enjoyed my content i hope to see you again uh, on my next video goodbye